Right then, time for the community notice board. It's the news that you send to us. Promer Premier League footballer James Chambers has partnered up with the Mary Stevens Hospice to offer families the opportunity to stay connected to their loved ones across generations through video messages. That's a good idea. I like that. Now, since retiring from playing to focus on his business interests, he's devoted his time to creating a video service which allows individuals the opportunity to record messages, stories and words of comfort for their designated loved ones to be stored securely until the individual passes away. That's incredible. Following two years of development, My Farewell, which offers a professional filming service and a free smartphone app due to be launched in November, has now partnered up with Mary Stevens Hospice to support the families relying on the care of the Hagley Road charity, which looks after patients, loved ones and family members battling the impact of life-limiting illnesses. Incredible. Yeah, 36-year-old Chambers enjoyed a successful playing career featuring regularly in the Premier League and throughout the Football League with the likes of West Bromwich Albion, Leicester City, Watford, before finishing his playing career, you might remember, at Walsall. Wow. To find out more about the service provided my, by My Farewell, you can look at myfarewell.co.uk and to find out more about the work of the Mary Stevens Hospice, you can go to marystevenshospice.co.uk. Oh, Pretty yes. simple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, two major City of Wolverhampton environmental projects are set to benefit from a slice of more than a million pounds worth of European funding secured by a black country scheme. The transfer of more than 90% of land at the former Wolverhampton Environment Centre is lined up to be dedicated to wildlife and opened up to the public as part of the adjoining Smedstow Valley Local Nature Reserve. Love nature a lot of reserves. words for us today. It is, yes. A lot of words. <laughs> it's all very pleasant, you see. The other project we'll see the Council working with Warsaw Metropolitan Borough Council and the Canal and River Trust to transform six kilometres of the Worley and Essington Canal Corridor, stretching from Wolverhampton City Centre across to the uh, edge of Warsaw and areas of open space alongside it, all into a local new nature reserve. Well, Wolverhampton, I live there, special place. Warsaw, another it's, special yeah, place to us. So. Some lovely areas in between <laughs> as well, which is where this all covers. I oh, love it, yeah. Brilliant. Black Country Blue Network will create a high quality ecological network with a diverse range of habitats centred on the area's historically important waterways and associated green spaces. Mm. The local nature reserve on the former Wolverhampton Environment Centre. Land will include woodland and pond management, meadow creation, car parking for walkers, self-managed allotments with parking spaces, new paths throughout to connect it to the wider Smesto Valley and new entrances from the disused railway line pathway into the reserve. I've walked along there once really? or twice. Sounds really yeah. tranquil. It Sounds is. lovely. The section of the Riley and Essington Canal in Wolverhampton will also be declared as a site of importance for nature conservation in recognition of the high wildlife value of the site, which is a home for dragonflies, butterflies, water birds, coarse fish and rare aquatic plants. None of us are part of that, are we? Uh, not at the moment. <laughs> we could go down there and become part of it and become one with nature. Absolutely. Like the idea of that, yeah. Now people are being being urged to sign up for adult learning in Sandwell. Already Sandwell Adult and Family Learning has held three open days where hundreds of new learners have enrolled on a wide range of courses. Brilliant. Learners have been signing up on courses in English and maths, something I didn't do very well in, as well as employability courses offering support on writing CVs and interview skills. There has also been a good take up of the more creative courses such as art, sewing and textile courses. Ah. Yeah. Now students can enroll on classes for this term until the end of September, not long ago. Enrolment is taking place at any of the three adult learning centres. You've got Tipton College in Alexandra Road, Ron Davis Centre in Smethwick and Haightley Heath Family Education and Training Centre in West Bromwich. Great stuff. To find out more details about the courses on offer, please do visit www.learn.com safl at ac.uk it's easy just to look at the bottom <laughs> of the screen it's always there. or you can call which is a little bit more easier as well is 0121557 please put the details on the screen there, there, there. <laughs> that's the only trouble we're doing this bit there's so much to remember so we we like to we make it a bit way. easier for everybody yeah. <laughs> now talking about learning stuff we've got a quick tutorial and something pretty cool happening on your weekend news. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That's right. We got thinking, well, why don't we make it a bit simpler for everyone and great for you, our friends and family, to send in stuff that is happening in your local communities and send in a video of what it's all about. That's a very good idea. Now, it's similar <laughs> to what you see on actual notice boards in shops around us, but this time it's a video recording of your notice. See, your notice. Absolutely. We basically need you to be stars on our telly and your telly for about 45 seconds maximum. So remember to give us the all important information. Such as who you are, what the event is, where it'll be taking place and how people can get in touch all within 45 seconds or under. That's 45 seconds. Now you can be <laughs> as crazy and creative as you wish, but always remember, 
keep your videos clean. No swearing, everybody. Mm, no, come on, let's give them a uh, example with a few tips. Now, came you know, prepared, came prepared. So uh -huh. in broadcasting, just to let you know, just a few tips here, everybody. Mm. It is best to film in landscape. So this is landscape. So that is the long way across versus portrait. Should I give them an example? It's a good idea, yes. For the first time, I'm having my phone on in the studio, so. It's not normally allowed. <laughs> no, we're not allowed. So if I can get my phone to work, which should work when you do it. Love it, There love we it. go. I'm filming now, you can see us filming. Oh yes, there's the other this side of the studio. This is landscape. And here is my uh, close-up. This is how we want it. Hello, here is the community news on Made in Birmingham. Can you show us the portrait, please? Uh, that way. That portrait. Way. That way. That's the right way. Portrait, it's that way around, yes. That way, that way. Oh, that's portrait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. I do apologise. Someone didn't have his breakfast this morning, so let's have landscape again. Landscape. There we go. Right. I'm in landscape. Now. Yeah. So this is landscape, and we want portrait now. Right. So this is portrait. Portrait, which is wrong. This is the wrong way. This is the right way. <laughs> Lovely well, seeing you. There we go. Right. Plus, you also need to remember to keep your hands steady, so the video is not too shaky. Sometimes sitting on your elbows, oh, right, right by right your stomach, so hold, something hold like this. Hold your hands up like that. We go like. Uh, Put your arms next to your body there we go. and try and be as steady as you can. Mm. Or you can actually be quite tech savvy and just use your selfie stick if you're not filming. I'll tell you what, when you when you're holding like this, don't cover wherever the camera is. You oh, see my no. camera's there, somewhere up there, somewhere down there, but don't cover it up because <laughs> it's like the old fashioned, uh, uh, you know, stills cameras. My mom and dad, we went to Blackpool once. Every photo we had had got their thumb over it. <laughs> Every photo. No, we don't want that. We, we need at least two weeks notice so that when we do say your notice has been pinned, rest assured you are stars in our eyes. I like that, <laughs> yes. Now, you might remember us mentioning this next thing on the community notice board a couple of months ago. Wildflowers could be adding a splash of colour to gardens as well as grass verges in Sandwell next summer. In the spring, Sandwell Council planted wildflowers on grass verges and roundabouts, reducing the need for mowing and creating a haven for bees and butterflies. Butterflies again, my wife <laughs> loves butterflies. Now, photographs of the flowers received more than 1,500 likes on the Council's Facebook page and were seen by close to 100,000 people. Sandwell Council's cabinet men member. Could I just say that again? Mm. Just because I just swallowed my tongue for a second there. <laughs> so Sandwell Council's cabinet member for Highways, Councillor David Hossel, said, we've had so many compliments and inquiries from residents who wanted to buy the seeds that we're working with. Our supplier to see if we can sell the seeds for people to plant in their own gardens next spring. That's I pretty like cool. That. That's yeah. really nice. Keep a look out for them when you're travelling around the Sandwell area. <laughs> well, Vistas to Wool's Pride Yay! on Saturday 30th of September will also have the chance to become world record breakers as part of the big oh! I knew you were going to do that. I love it. I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. The Wolverhampton LGBT Alliance celebration being supported by the City of Wolverhampton Council, University of Wolverhampton and Wolverhampton Homes will play host to an attempt to get the most number of people wolf howling <laughs> continuously for a minute. I can't do it as Hopefully well, it'll you? be longer than that. Oh. <laughs> it runs from the city's largest public arts event, Wolves in Wolves, and will take place at St. Peter's Car Park off Wolfrunner Street in Wolverhampton City Centre. Now, the current world record stands at 803 people, and it's held by Great Wolf Lodge, who broke the record at Niagara Falls on July the 1st this year as part of the 150th Canada Day. Right, more than 4,000 free tickets for Wolves Pride have already been snapped up, and organisers are calling on people to rally behind the world record attempt in a bid to break the 1,000 barrier. Come on, oh, Wolves! Yes, you can do we it. can do, do it. it. Yeah. We can do it. Now, two of the city's much loved Wolves in Wolves, Rainbow by Julie Fletcher and Support Life by Alex Van, will be part of Wolves Pride. Wow. As well as the world record attempt, it will feature a broad range of music, live entertainment, and performance, as well as fantastic range of street food, Mwah. bars, information stands, merchandise stalls, and so much more. And that's all coming up <laughs> next week. Right, so let's tell people how they can get in touch if they want to be part of the. Uh, Community notice board. Oh my gosh, it's so come to the end now. Ways, Almost, oh yeah. We're nearly there. Well, we need you guys to make this happen. Mm. So I think this is what we've got for the community notice board mm. so far, but I think we need to let everybody know. Mm. So email, please do. social media. The email address you can email news at madeinbirmingham.tv. Social um, media is at TV, or you can even use the hashtag Birmingham News or the hashtag <laughs> Weekend Magazine. You know what? I'm just kind of sad right now. Why? Why are you We're sad? We're almost done with community notice board. Well, we'll, we'll be more. back again. Yeah, we'll have tomorrow more tomorrow. Yeah. And again next weekend. <laughs> I actually do feel really sad. Oh, don't worry. We will be back here this time next week. I'll see you then. Oh, that's that's nice.